Hello and welcome to another VEX IQ tutorial. Today in this video we are going to be going through an activity called Robot Vacuum 2. Now I have done a previous video on the Robot Vacuum activity designed for the VEX VR program but for this one we are going to be doing a second one. Now it is a combination of two videos that I've already done. So there's the Robot Vacuum one and the Where's the Wall activity. This combines the two ideas into one and I'm going to take you through that just briefly because I want to see if you can do it on your own. So if we go onto style, we go into the Robot Vacuum 2 Vexcode IQ page. Now, here it says the following code has been written using a program called Robot Mesh. Your task is to try to recreate this code in Vexcode IQ and to have your robot successfully run the code. So this takes the concept that we did in our Where's the Wall activity where we had to try replicate the code into, from Robot Mesh into Vexcode IQ but we are now doing it with a, where, with a robot vacuum activity. So if we zoom in just a little bit we can have a look at the different codes that they use. I just want to take you through a few that are new to this that we haven't used before. So if we go to our Vexcode IQ program, as you can see, I've already put in my devices. So we have our drivetrain and our distance. The main things that we're gonna to wanna to have a look at is if we go into control, we are going to have a look at these other if then blocks. All right, so if we have a look at this code, you can see that there are two blocks that say if do. So if we have a look at our VEX code IQ program, we can see that we don't have if do, but we have if then. So our if then blocks, we're going to be looking at these two here, where there's a little more space to add some different code, mainly this one, our if blank then and then else. So if we have, so in this code, it says if the distance finds an object that is less than or equal to 15 millimeters, the robot is going to stop, it is then going to turn around. In this code, it is then says, if the distance is greater than 15, it's going to drive forward, and then it will repeat until the distance detects an object that is greater than a number between 15 and 30. So if it detects something in front of it that is between 15, or if it detects an object that is greater than a number between 15 or 30, it's random, it will then turn right and then it'll repeat, and it'll then repeat until it can start driving again. Now, this code is a little bit different to what we can do on Vexcode IQ. So with this code, it is saying that if it picks up an object that is less than or equal to 15 millimeters, so if it gets close enough, if it gets close enough to an object that is less than or equal to 15 millimeters, it will turn around until it detects anything that is greater than 15 millimeters and continue driving. Now we can't do that on VEX Code IQ. So what we are going to want to do is we can still use these if then blocks. We can still use the same less than greater than blocks, which are here. Now, as you can see, we only have one, so we actually can't use this block. We want to use these where we can slot them in. So if something like this, then what we want to do is we can then use, if we go back and have a look at our code, just to see the kind of things that it wants, this block. So the random integer, we can put in a block similar to that. It is another green operators block. And it is here, pick random. 
So with this, we can slot it into our code and it can pick a random number between one and 10. I, the thing had 15 and 30. I would recommend when you're doing distances. In a previous video, I said always have it above 50 because of the robot. It'll make it easier to detect and it will make it more likely for it to stop and complete the function that you want it to. So I'd say anywhere between 50 and 75 is a good number. So this is what you're going to want to do. Now, this is just the start of it. Now, remember, you're going to want to use these distance blocks. You also want to use distance. If it's found an object, what's it going to do and things like that. So that is just a start. Those are just the key things for this. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to take this code and I see if you can try to do it yourself. We did it before together with the where's the wall activity and you've done a robot vacuum code before. So it's just combining those two and you should be able to do it. So have a go, see what you can do. I can't wait to see what you create.